My doctor said I would be lucky to see my next birthday. I was 50 pounds overweight and totally out of shape. I'm Rob, a lifelong food enthusiast. I love cooking, baking, eating, and everything associated with it. My life was literally in my hands. I could continue with my bad food habits or eat healthy. The choice was mine. If I could do it, anyone can, but old temptations keep coming back. Staying healthy is a constant battle, but I'm determined to win the war. I'm Rob Kircher, and this is Better Health and Greater Wealth. It's the one show that's all about living a smarter, healthier lifestyle and all the wellness cooking that goes with it. And speaking of wellness cooking, I'm standing here in front of the world-famous Roy's Restaurant, which is noted for its eclectic blend of California, Japanese, and French cuisine. And we're going to go in and we're going to meet Chef Iggy, so come on, we're going to have a ball. Iggy, what a pleasure to meet you. Hello, welcome to Roy's. Well, thank you, I'm happy to be here. We're so, happy to have you. So tell me about Roy's, because it's so world famous. I mean, you guys just do an amazing job. What makes Roy's different from other restaurants? I think the biggest thing that separates us from our local competitors is our European style sauces, our bold Asian spices, and our fresh local seafood. Something that we really emphasize, you know, to have from seed to table. Well, you know, our show is all about health and wellness, and uh, I know when I come to Roy's, I'm going to get really fresh food. And the other thing I like about Roy's is that you're going to cater to people's um, allergies and different uh, tastes that they have, requirements for that, right? Absolutely. One of the things that we emphasize and we really want to be able to do is cater to everyone's dietary needs their supplements, and then sometimes it's just about, some people just don't like certain items and certain foods, so we're able to separate those things out of our menu, out of our dishes, to cater to our guests, because the biggest thing for us is to build local and year-round guests. Well, I love that about that, and, and the other thing um, I can already sense about you, Iggy, is that you have a love for what you're doing. It's not just a job, you love what you're doing. Absolutely, this is a passion of mine, it's not so much about a title, it's not about the name, it's just something that I've always grown up. I love doing it and it's more of a fulfillment for me and the biggest thing is I'm with a great company that really is able to cater not only to them but to what I love to do and bring it to our guests here. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go do some cooking, okay? Awesome, thank All right, you. bud, come on. Iggy, the first thing we're going to be doing is a seared ahi salad, right? Yes, sir. Today we're going to be doing a seared ahi salad with a couple of fresh local ingredients. Uh, we're going to be using a little bit of avocado, togarashi seven spice, edamame beans, local cherry tomatoes, red onions, some pineapple, orange vinaigrette, and some crispy fried noodles, which you can also not put on there, so it's option whether you like them or not. Well, that's amazing. Well, I know the beans are very, very healthy for you, right? Oh, they're amazing. They're great for you, and they taste great as well. Um, you know, I'm allergic to uh, mango, and I know you don't have that, but you literally could blend anything you really wanted to uh, and cater to the actual taste of the uh, Yes, guest. absolutely. The biggest thing here at Roy's, we're able to cater to every guest individually. We're able to uh, not only make them specific dishes, but anything that you may be allergic to or just maybe don't like, we can definitely take out of your food, your salad in this case, or anything that you guys may want I to have here at Roy's. I think that's absolutely wonderful. I think that's a great thing to do. Okay, so let's start to put one together. I love this. Absolutely. What's the first thing? Now, what kind of uh, lettuce is that? Bib lettuce or Boston lettuce. Okay. What we like to do is just actually take off the core a little bit. We take it down the middle once. So you have it, okay. Yep, have it, quarter it, flip it around, and then quarter it once again. Once we're done with that, we get our little mixing bowl here. And you know, you guys, you want to keep your crunchy parts in it. You want to be able to have a little bit of crisp flavor. You don't want it to all kind of melt together. Yeah. Wow. Everything is so fresh. That's the thing about uh, this restaurant, which I absolutely love, is that uh, 
you know, you really start from the basics, which is really the whole influence of the Japanese, the French, and the uh, California cooking, which is fresh ingredients. Absolutely. The biggest thing that we do here, like I said, you know, we really emphasize seed to table. Everything about what we do here as a company, as a whole, we want to bring the f freshest local ingredients and really be able to separate ourselves from our local competitors. Well, you definitely have that reputation, there's no question about it. Well, thank you. And that's why I'm so excited to be here today, to be honest with you. And I'm already kind of salivating <laughs> over what you're doing here. It looks The fantastic. last step is just drizzle a little bit of our orange vinaigrette over the top. Oh boy, wow. Toss it around. We like to definitely work with a little bit of height. So today we're gonna be using a ring mold. Oh, okay. If you don't have a ring mold at home, you can definitely just, you know, set it up on the easiest way that you guys possibly can with your hands, no big deal. There's the ring mold. You want to put down a little bit of the bib lettuce. So you really don't chop that lettuce up, you just kind of keep it, it's kind of a rough cut, right? Yes, you know, you want to be able to really emphasize not only the lettuce, but you don't want to hide the great ingredients that we're working with. You know, we really want to be able to yeah. give our guests. Wow, that's beautiful. Once you drop that down, we want to be able to top it off with some of these crispy noodles, rice noodles. So you got that little bit of a texture going there as well. Yes, it's a great texture uh, towards the salad. Yeah, love it. And then one of our final pieces that we're going to be working with is our fresh ahi tuna. Now this chef, I must admit, is my absolute favorite. I love ahi tuna and I like it just lightly seared. I notice that's exactly what you've done here. Yes, uh, lightly seared is my recommendation, seared rare. Um, obviously, if it's something that you guys want to be have cooked a little bit more, uh, it's definitely something that we can work with. Once we uh, slice the tuna, you want to pull the ring mode lightly off to really hold the height on the salad. You want to fan out your ahi tuna to be able to present it in the wow. front. Wow. And that there is our big ahi island tuna. That looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, chef, this is the best part of these shows. Can we actually taste this together? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Let's do that. Help yourself first. No, no. Here. Oh. You as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and some of this avocado because I absolutely love it. And uh, let's enjoy this together. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. Okay. Wow. Jeff, that is unbelievably good. Excellent. I love it. Nice, clean, fresh, light. You know, really, a really great way to get your afternoon started. And that sauce you use is incredible. It's absolutely Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, we're going to be back, and we're going to do another entree or an appetizer with the chef. So we're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. back and we're here with Iggy and we're going to be doing a Big Island Ebby roll, right? Yes, sir. Today we're going to be doing one of our uh, sushi rolls that we have in our menu. It's called the Big Island Ebby roll. It's a little bit of avocado, pineapple, cream cheese, 1620 shrimp, toasted coconut, habanero aioli, and finished with a little bit of kabayaki. I gotta tell you something, I love rolls and I can't wait to see you do your technique here because I actually want to try it, but I'm gonna have you make one first, okay? So show us how you do this, Chef. All right, excellent. We're gonna start off with a little bit of soy paper, gluten-free. We wanna make sure that, you know, everyone's able to enjoy it. You wanna dip your fingers a little bit. I love the color of this paper, it's, it's amazing. Yes, definitely, it's beautiful. You and it comes in different colors, right? Yes, you can get it in various colors, red, green, uh, orange, you know, it just depends on what you like and how you want to present it. So your actual mat, you've uh, got shrink wrap over it. Yes, we use saran wrap around our mats. One, it helps with the rolling, and two, it prevents from any food particles really getting stuck yeah, in it. Cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, you got your soy paper down. What's the next thing? 
And the first thing you guys want to do is be able to get your fingertips wet. We are working with sticky rice, so it definitely sticks. The, the next thing you want to do is actually just lay a little bit of rice down. And uh, you don't need too much rice. You want to spread it evenly across the paper. This is the sticky rice, right? Yes, very sticky. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. One of the biggest mistakes that we make, we all make at one point or another, is really putting too much rice on the paper. The good thing about this is it spreads out really well and it's very easy to manage if you have wet fingertips. Wow. Once you uh, have it down, you just kind of want to push it to the edge. Well, wow. great technique so far. <laughs> Thank so again, you, you got to keep your hands moist because that's uh, that's one of the big uh, techniques as well. Yes, lightly, lightly moist. Once you have spread your wow. rice evenly, you want to flip it. Oh, you flip it? Oh, yes. Okay. This is going to be a rice out roll. So that's going to stick to that soy paper. All right. Yes, sir. You want to lay down. You can call me Rob. It's okay. Absolutely. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rob. You want to lay down <laughs> your cream cheese. The next thing that we're going to be working is with a little bit of pineapple. Wow. I love the tropical fruit. Love that. You want to lay down your nice seared shrimp. Now these are seared, but uh, normally would you um, actually deep fry them or what? Uh, normally we tempura them, but we're searing them today to emphasize how here at Roy's we really work with our guests. And we're and all about health and wellness. So Health and wellness. You know, this is great. But you leave the tails down, you just let them stick out a little bit. Yeah, right? just leave the tails hanging out a little bit for presentation purposes. You also, if you want to ensure that your ingredients don't move, you want to lay your shrimp right on top of your cream cheese. You want to bring your roll right to the edge of the paper. Now this is the part where everybody gets a little confused because like uh, like you say, they kind of try to over muscle it a little bit, which really don't do that, right? No, definitely don't over muscle the roll. It's already a, a very delicate thing to do. What you really want to do is just let the mat do the work for you. So you bring the mat up a little bit. You want to use your fingers to hold everything in place. Wow. You want to roll it to the edge and hold it. Once you have it at this point, you really are halfway there. Dip your fingers back in water, let a little bit of water on that soy paper, and then just pull the mat lightly over, and hopefully it works for us. So you pull the mat, you don't actually roll the mat, you no. just pull it. Just pull uh, it, let the okay. mat do the work for you. You want to mold it, and then... Wow, look at that. Have your finished that product. That is gorgeous. Okay, Iggy, I want to do one. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do you work. have the patience to work with me? Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, folks, this is one of the great things that Roy offers is they have cooking lessons. And so just like me, who have, I've never done one of these before, um, you could come to uh, Roy's, I think it's what, every, every other Tuesday, right? Yes, every second Tuesday of the month. Yeah. And you can join them and learn how to do things like uh, roll your sushi. Okay, I want to try one. Absolutely. So, First thing, uh, first thing, step okay. right into the All camera. Right. All right. Yeah. So I get the, the soy paper. Yes. Right? Okay. Dip your fingers right into the water. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sushi rice to your left. All right. So. Just. This may take a while, folks. Just lightly push it out. You can lay it out and then push it. Yeah, okay. Through the magic of television, this is going to happen a lot faster, but right now, I'm just going to put the basics down. Yep. That should be enough rice, and I just want to push it out and kind of use your fingers as a. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, see, what I do, yep, is use this. Use your fingers as the mold. And then if you have them, obviously, oh, okay. yep, and push them out. I've always wanted to learn how to do this because I'm going to be doing this at home. But I may need another lesson from, from Iggy, I'm not sure. It's not as pretty as yours, but is that okay? It looks okay? wonderful. Okay. 
So uh, the next thing is you want to flip I'm it. I'm going to flip this thing over, and it's actually going to stick yep, there, just, right? Yep. So just grab it from the top, flip it. From this way. Yep. Okay. So that way it flo flips right back for you. All right. Excellent. One, two, three. Yep. Wow. Push it down a little bit. Wow. It worked. Yeah. Let's drop our shrimp. Put the pineapple down now? Yes. Okay. Right across. You like avocado? Yeah, I love avocado. Okay. So put a few avocado on here. And you want to put it right on top, right, Chef? Yep. Okay. Now, when we lay our shrimp down, you want to lay them right on top of the ingredients. Oh, okay. Use it as a mold to Use hold. Use these shrimp here? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I noticed what you did is you left the tail out. Yep, for decoration. Yep. And then let me... Can I break this a yeah, little bit? Yeah, break okay. it. That's what I do. Perfect. Okay. Now, you want to bring the paper back towards you. Almost okay. to the edge of the mat. I'm going to bring the paper back to yep. me. Okay. It's <laughs> all right. This is not as easy as it looks, for, at least not for me. There. Yep. How's that? Beautiful. Now, what we want to work on is... So I'm going to be bringing this over... With your thumbs. My thumbs. Yep. And then you want to use your pointer fingers. You have to hold it. So I'm just going to yep, do keep it. going, keep going. You're good. You're getting there. Keep going. Now, once you're there to that point, hold it. Now, squeeze a little bit. Yep. Now, wet your index finger or your pointer finger. Run it across the soy paper. Okay. Now, once you have a nice hold there, you want to pull the mat forward. Pull the mat. Okay. Like this, now this one. And keep your, yep, keep your hands on it. Now, once we're to this point here, you want to mold that. it, yep, and hopefully it Now, works. this is the big reveal. Let's see. Rob's first opportunity here to make a roll. Wow! Perfect. Are you kidding? Good job. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you take over from here, Chef, but thank you. I, I absolutely love that, and uh, I'm going to practice a lot more at home, but that was marvelous. The final thing that we're really going to be working on here is uh, one of the trickiest things that we have is once we have a roll laid out, we're gonna cover it with our local avocado. This you wanna pre-slice ahead of time because it's gonna go directly over the top. Wow. You wanna get a little bit of saran wrap? Now the reason for the saran wrap is just to hold it a little better? Yes. Not only is it going to hold it, it's going to help me mold it. Ah, okay. And we'll we're have learning. to... We're learning here. And we're going to have to redo this again once we remove it. You want to slowly peel back the paper. You've done this before, I can see this. A couple of times. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Look you, at that. You want to bring the saran wrap back? Mold your sushi one more time. And then we're going to start the cutting process. My recommendation is to cut it into thirds. One, two, three. And then you slice one every in between. Oh, okay. Want to wet your knife a little bit so nothing really sticks to it. And you leave the, uh, the the paper on it? Yes. Okay. Well. So you want to go one cut, two cuts. You want to get about six rolls. You have to have a very sharp knife for this, that's for sure. Yes. And don't worry about the paper, it won't stick or stay in your roll. That is absolutely gorgeous. You remove the paper, come back to your sushi mat. Wow. 
well. Mold it. And you want to be able to then set your sushi. Yeah, it's amazing how it just holds together so well. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. No, I can see that. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Wow. Once we get to this here, clean it up a little bit. You want to be able to put a little bit of habanero aioli on top. Just a little dot, huh? Just a little dot for a little bit of flavor yeah. and a great presentation with a little bit of sweet kabayaki. This is unbelievable. A little bit of wasabi really and a little bit of ginger. Wow. Wow. We can use chopsticks, or what I like to use is our fingers. I like using my fingers. Likewise. Like their fingers. Let's enjoy. Okay, we can bring a plate over here, huh? Yeah. Now, I got a question for you, Ziggy. Uh, the ginger. What's what's the what's the proper technique? You you eat the part of the roll, and then you follow with ginger. Yes, to clean your palate. To clean your palate. Okay. All right. You ready? I am. Let's suck together. One, two, three. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. I love it. I made a mess, folks, but it tastes so good. <laughs> it's incredible. Mmm. Wow. That is probably one of the best rolls I've ever had, to be Thank honest you. with you. I gotta tell you that. So now you follow it up with a little piece of ginger, right? A little piece of ginger to clean your palate. And ginger is also very good for you. It's very healthy, right? Amazing for you. Wow. Okay, there you go, folks. Chef Iggy really likes to be known as Iggy. And we're here at Roy's, and we've had such a great time. And I gotta tell you something. Go to my website, www.betterhealthgreaterwealth.tv to learn more about Iggy, to learn more about Roy's, and to get the recipes on these two amazing dishes that we just made for you today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.